brought my microphone. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Ignite Phoenix number 14. <laughs> Who has been to an Ignite Phoenix event before? And who was at their first Ignite event ever? Awesome, welcome. For those of you who are new, here's how the show is gonna work tonight. Our presenters are gonna have five minutes on this stage and 20 slides to share one of their passions with you. And their slides are gonna advance every 15 seconds whether they like it or not. We had 110 submissions for tonight's show and from that group we selected 18 presenters to share with you tonight. Now, we encourage you to be part of the online conversation. Uh, here's your hashtag to tweet with your fellow attendees and also the people watching on live stream. Uh, but please, if you're in the theater, make sure the volume on your devices is turned all the way down. So our presenters tonight are gonna be using our unusual format to share something, well, unusual about themselves. And for some of our presenters, this is gonna be the first time that they share this passion with anybody. And that kind of makes me sad because we live in a world that's filled with blatant and unspoken rules about how we're supposed to speak and dress and act. And when we conform with these rules, we're told that we are acceptable, that we belong, and on some levels even lovable. And so one of the things that is great about Ignite is that in real life we kind of sacrifice the ability to talk about the things that really matter to us. But here we provide a platform for those discussions to begin. And for just five minutes we get a glimpse into the life of each of our, of each of our presenters and we get to hear about what really turns their crank. Now our presenters are here tonight to simply share with you. They are not here to convince you of anything, and they are most definitely not here to sell you anything. What they're here to do is to stand on this stage and be able to say, this is me. This is what's important to my life and what lights my fire. And that is just such a wonderful, powerful thing. And in some ways, Ignite is a bit of a reversion. You know, we live in a world that's filled with rules, but to a child, the world is a blank canvas, and they are the master artist. You know, what was your passion growing up? Was it building blocks, playing dress up? Are you the reason that superhero capes now come with warning labels? <laughs> For me, one of my passions was climbing. You know, trees, rocks, flagpoles, buildings. If I could get a grip on something with my hands and feet, I was going up it. And I didn't care if I might get dirty or if I was wearing a dress or if it was dangerous. If something could be climbed, it would be climbed, which tended to scare the bejesus out of my mother. And when you see a child with this level of passion, like the kid who falls in love with their Halloween costume and is still wearing it in April, they are the master of their universe. And they are just grooving to their own little beat. And they don't care about your approval. In fact, they're completely oblivious to whether you are smiling or scowling at them. And how can we maintain these ideals into adulthood without looking like, well, some type of a freak? Well, perhaps the answer to that is acceptance. If we can begin to accept the strange and the weird and the unusual in other people, then perhaps we can begin to accept it in ourselves. Now, like the child in the costume, our presenters are not here for your approval. They were who they are before they walked on this stage, and they will continue to be who they are once they leave it. What they are here to do is to embrace and graciously share with us something that is near and dear to their hearts. And by doing that, they're giving us permission to begin to embrace and share the things that we're passionate about and start having those discussions. Now, we've told our presenters that you are the best audience in the Phoenix area. So we have given you a job to do. We need you to cheer for our presenters, support them. This is hard. And even though your approval is not required, we do expect you to, to respect everyone. 
Now, I want to thank you for coming tonight. I hope you enjoy the show. We're going to have a great time tonight. And if you'll put your hands together, please help me in welcoming our first presenter to the stage for Ignite Phoenix number 14. <laughs>